on this video I'm going to show you how the slideshow component works so the first thing uh, we are going to do is to install that uh, component into the ID uh, for that ex extract the, the contents of the zip file and this is the folder we need to uh, copy into the VCL uh, for PHP uh, folder so copy it and then go to the folder we have here so this is the VCL folder uh, yours can be different depending on the installation you have so uh, this is the contents of the uh, package uh, now I'm going to open uh, Delphi 4 PHP this component works uh, in Delphi 4 PHP version 2 and uh, on the new release so uh, you can use it right now uh, in your existing Delphi 4 PHP version I'm going to install that package and for that component install and add now go to the VCL folder a slideshow and then this is the package we need to add to the ID it contains the slideshow component to show you how it works I'm going to simply create a new form this is a, an empty form I'm going to drop it into the designer at this moment there are no images attached to the to this component so sample images are shown you can control how many are shown here so you can tweak how it works and now I'm going to use the image list component to set which images are going to be shown on this uh, slideshow first I'm going to save this uh, script where it's going to, to be so the images I use are relative to the path where the script is uh, located I'm going to use uh, well not these images I'm going to use these ones from this one to this one so you see the path for the uh, images uh, is uh, relative to the script now I'm going to attach that image list with the component you see here and now just run to see how it looks now we have all the images we have uh, selected and clicking in any of them will show the slideshow using the fancy box script the jQuery plugin so as you can see it's very easy to create uh, this kind of uh, effects with uh, this component there is a lot of properties we can uh, modify to tweak the, the way it looks for example I'm going to select the over uh, value for the title position so the title is located over the images in instead uh, being out of this component I also can select the effect for uh, when the images is shown instead of a fade I'm going to select the elastic effect so you see you get an animation when the component is shown you can control uh, for example the, the color used for the overlay that is the the layer used to uh, hide the, the contents uh, area so uh, you can select which color and also even the amount of uh, opacity for example one is uh, full opacity so all the, the contents are going to be hidden you see or you can select an weak opacity so it creates a, a different effect 
uh, also for the uh, thumbnails you can have a separate uh, image list uh, we are going to add it this image list we are going to add here the thumbnails for the images so the full uh, or the big uh, version of the images is are not loaded here and also we can tweak the, the width and height of the thumbnails so they look properly so here this is the thumbnails and this is the big version of the images you can also select the captions each line is corresponds to an image H3 and, and so on so this is image 1 image 2 3 and so on so you can select which caption caption is going to be shown uh, you can select if show the overlay, not the close button or navigation arrows mm. for example false there are no navigation arrows but you can use the keyboard now I'm pressing the cursor keys so you can use also the keyboard to move between images uh, uh, also you can select mm, to be the the uh, slideshow to be cyclic so I'm going to enable again navigation arrows so this makes possible to go from the first image to the last one and from the last one to the first one mm, also tweak for example if you want to, to show this in a different language these are, these are the text used for the images this is in Spanish so you can see almost every aspect of uh, the slideshow component can be can be modified using the, the properties and well I think this is it, this is it. there are many properties here but for the the sample I think is it's okay